G'day, it's Richard from Off-Road Touring Life. If you want to see what I've been up to for the last two days, stick around. I've visited a couple of huts, tackled some awesome four-wheel drive tracks, and look at spectacular scenery on a pretty awesome part of the Victorian high country. All right, stay tuned for all that coming up. that Plain Creek tracks done that was a great little track actually I'm glad I took the detour over there so I've actually just rejoined Carter's road now so I'm gonna continue up towards number three hut now that track there is quite easy if you are going across the top in wet conditions it's not too bad coming up from on the sawmill sediment side but if you're coming down this way I'm not saying it's super steep or anything but it's quite that got that clay base it actually changes quite a bit the uh, the surface there so if it was wet just something to keep in mind coming down it it's well signposted yeah, just off there. Carter's Road here you can see Tomahawk Hut and the Buckland Spur track if you want to head down and check out Tomahawk Hut you just follow the left down here it's only a couple of k's down so I'm right now at the start of number three track now for this sort of track here it's quite rocky um, so I'm going to drop down oh, I've already have but I'm going to run about 24 psi um, So I'm part way up now, number three track. Now behind me, there, that's the sort of rocks you get along here. So this is why I dropped the tire pressures. So this bit here is not too bad, but once you get through the seasonal track closures uh, gate there, the track does start to deteriorate, but slow and steady, cruise up. The scenery here is spectacular. So here's another intersection which I thought I'd share with you if you do want to follow this trip that I'm doing. To the left is Weston's track, signs up behind me, it's well signposted but that drops down towards King Basin Road but I'm not actually going to head down Weston's today, I'm going to actually continue on straight through and join the circuit road and then turn left down King Basin. So you can take that Weston's track, uh, just remember if it is a wet day or something like that or wet conditions it is a quite a steep track in parts so you do have to be very careful how good's this spot so i'm about 1500 meters up i always stop here for a bit i've sat here and there's been fog rolling through i've been up here when there's been ice in the puddles i've been here when it's been covered in snow today it's just bone dry and rocky Thank goodness the patrol is nice and comfy in these conditions but as far as you can see right way across so straight over behind me is um, towards Mansfield 
and you can see the paps right across towards Mount Terrible the other way for those of you that uh, are wondering what you can see from here you can actually see the face of this hill when you're coming into Mansfield as well number three hut here is just a refuge hut so you can't just come up and stay inside it but in times of need or you know if the weather's terrible of course that's what the hut's there for there is a little bit of food inside which is left there for emergencies which is great to see this hut is always well presented in absolutely immaculate condition there's actually a canara in there as well and a broom and everything like that so please keep it nice and tidy um, it's all corrugated iron it's well built there's a water tank here around the side as well and only about 50 meters away or so there's a clean drop toilets as well so you can utilize those if you need to while you're here as well but yeah great picnic area there's a mark on the ground here just where i'm standing so someone must have camped here just recently hikers potentially as well okay so i've come off the circuit road turn left down king basin road past westerns link westerns track and black landing track and i'm now standing at the corner of burnt top track and the king basin road if you go left there's an awesome little camp spot called pineapple flat you just cross the river into there there is um drop all right so the first crossing you just saw it was never really a um river crossing it was more just a creek when the floods come through in 2010 it washed out a gully there so they just made it into a, like a nice causeway now something to keep in mind i'm just coming out of the um mansfield state forest and i'm crossing into the alpine national park so the reason i brought this up if you are here with dogs there's certain sides of the river you can camp on so obviously the side i'm on now is all good the other side of the river there is the alpine national park so this is the king river down here so i'm about to cross that now and i'll uh continue on to that campsite all right so here's the second crossing so nice firm hard base there looks like there's a bit of a u-turn spot here must be a few people avoiding it but uh it's not too bad it's getting a bit later in the afternoon now this one's actually quite a good swimming hole it's quite deep up to the left hand side there a few little rapids running through to the right so i'll just uh motor on through so this next crossing here where it's got the rocky climb up the other side it has caught a few people out before i remember i camped over the other side here one time and people were just flooring it up there i actually saw a fridge bounce out of the back of a um out of a ute I think it was an avara or something and then not long after a set of bash plates got smashed and ripped off so just crawl through take it easy there's a heap of grip all these rivers got a firm base in them but yeah it was quite an entertaining afternoon i think i actually filmed some of that early on in my YouTube videos. So I've got myself a spot next to King Hut. There's no one else here, it's Friday night. It's only 10 to 5, quarter to 5, so there's a fair chance some people might roll in later um, or... now also here there's a picnic table and a fire pit that way and another one on the other side um, utilize those if you like to I guess I have camped up here oh, probably about half a dozen times or more passed through countless others camped here between a Christmas and a New Year just an overnighter passing through one time Surprisingly, it wasn't that busy, um, but anywhere around that time up here, these are all pretty much prime spots. So if you're going to get up here, you know, get up here nice and early. Like I always say as well, camp midweek if you can. Uh, this week I haven't been able to, so midweek you get all the prime positions. All right, first things first, let's get that awning set up. Okay, that's the awning set up. Next. The stretcher it's like that the stretch is all set up now it's time for the uh, crash pad swag and just like that the swag set up so all i gotta do now is get my chair out 
and camp set up. There we go, nice and simple. About to hop down down, about to pop down over to the river now and uh, freshen up a bit. Alrighty. So I got dinner done, and the blowies are here, so I just got myself a um, grilled chicken wrap there. Nice and simple. But I'm loving this new set out I've got now with the table extension, got the stove, got a work area, fridge. Managed to get to the drawers, no worries at all. It's the first time I've actually used it. I was away last week, which that video should have been out by now. By the time you see this, it'll be out at Strathbogies, but where we camped, we just utilized the uh, outdoor tables. That were at the campsites, but um, yeah, this is a Ripper. All right, I'm gonna get into that before these blowies do. Good morning. So, I had a last night was absolutely perfect, temperatures were spot on. This morning, the sun's just starting to come up. I got up about quarter past six, went down, down to the river there, came back up, made a coffee, about to get some brekkie on the go. Then I'm just about to head up to Craig's hut once I get all packed up and stuff this morning. But yeah, no great hurry, just sitting here relaxing. Enjoying the time here. Alright, so I'm all packed up now. Um, one of the guys that happened to camp across from me is one of my YouTube subscribers and follows me on Instagram, so it was great to meet you, Scott. Alright, so I'm just about to hop in the car now, make my way off, make my way out. It's getting a bit overcast, the sun's out, but it's a uh, warm morning. Tipping's going to be uh, busier than Burke Street at the top of Craig's Hut, but go up there, see if we can get a car park, and maybe have some lunch up there as well. Alrighty, time to hit the road. So I left the campground. Less than a kilometre later, you'll get the end of the, you'll reach the intersection of King Basin Road and Speculation Road. Now I'm going to be taking a right up Speculation Road. It is just a dirt road up there, so it's not too bad to travel along. Just remember to uh, watch for oncoming cars. If I was to continue straight on, that heads up towards Lake Cobbler, which I won't be doing today. There's a couple of ways to Lake Cobbler as well, so um, just keep that in mind if you do head that way. It is a, quite a good loop up and around the top back down to here if you are using the King Hut area as your base camp. But yeah, I'll just continue on of Speculation Road. I just got to the bottom of Monument Track Circuit Road and Binderee Road intersection. So if you head down Binderee Road, head down to Binderee Falls, it's about five kilometers down. I'm gonna go up Monument Track. So Monument Track is steep and rocky, so just be prepared for that. There's three ways to Craig's Hut. You can go up like the easy way up off the circuit road, up Clear Hills Track, or you can come up from the other side at Howquid Gap, or you can also go up Monument Track, which is where I'm going now. So I'm about to head up there now. Um, the sign does stay, say state steep rocky track and not suitable for towing. All right, so that's the steep climb up monument there. So I've, I've filmed from on top of the roof there because I did want to stop halfway up the hill and throw the tripod out. There's a, bit, a couple of cars I passed as well. So a little bit tricky on a Saturday to stop it in the middle of the track to get footage if people are coming up behind you or going down. I didn't want to uh, be a burden on those guys but yeah nice steady climb it is recently graded so there's not heaps of rocks around um, I'll drop some footage over the top of this so you can see where I was talking about the rock sections there's a couple of steep pinches coming up it's marked as steep on the map it's not too bad but yeah just obviously need caution with that one a bit of clearance is always a plus you could do it on your road tires and stuff like that but the minute it looks like rain or anything forecast I'd avoid it on those all terrains at best purely because of the um, mountain soil here, but the views are here are awesome. This track here, I love this track. Not so much just for the forward driving, but the scenery itself. As you get to the top of this track here, you come in right in amongst all these old snow gums up here. 
now there's no leaves on them all which gives absolute awesome contrast with the blue skies and stuff behind me come through here when it's foggy and misty or even at night time the whole place just changes again just got an awesome feeling awesome dynamic up here it's absolutely spectacular Alright, so the end of Monument Track. So I'm now taking a right hand turn and heading down towards Craig's Hut on Clear Hills Track. Looks like it's just been dozed, so it's going to be very uh, interesting with the dust down there. When you do get to this intersection, if you are looking at heading across to Howkoi Gap Hut, just keep in mind that track closes earlier in the season than the other tracks in the area and does open later. So it's part of the um, Mount Sterling ski resort so it goes right over the top of Sterling there so just something to keep in mind so you don't get caught out there's no gate just at the start here it's just beyond the um intersection but i'll continue down clear his hills track that looks freshly graded it's gonna be lots of dust so i just had a few cars take off down that way now so i'll let that dust settle and then i'll head off So it's pretty obvious what's standing there behind me. It's Craig's hut. So like most of you, you might have been here before. If you haven't, come up. It's probably Australia's most famous film set. So the man from Snow River come out around 1982. This hut actually burnt down and was rebuilt a couple of times. The last, this particular one was rebuilt in 2008. So the views from here, you can see across towards Lake Cobbler, all the way around the other side across towards Mount Howitt and stuff like that across the across the back side but absolutely perfect day a little bit hazy so it's not probably absolutely perfect but sensational not too many people up here actually was expecting it to be quite busy and packed but um, yeah I managed to get a spot in the car park there the tracks are dusty the hut looks as good as ever really how can you complain when you're out here doing this sort of stuff got any questions about this hut that I might be able to help you with feel free to um, pop it in the comments or if you have been here before comment as well be good to hear about your experience here to just keep in mind though like if a lot of places up this height is closed during the winter season but I believe you can fly up here in a chopper in winter and land here in the snow which would be pretty awesome all right so I've just finished lunch now here at Craig's hut start starting to get quite busy here now so about to jump in, make my way around the circuit road. Might just quickly duck in to raise a back hut on the way through. All right, time to keep moving. All right, so just dropped down Clear Hills track. So I'll just taking, I'll be taking a left-hand turn on the circuit road. It's hot and dusty up there, but uh, everyone's just cruising around. It's good to see so many people out enjoying themselves. But just gonna make my way around the circuit road now. Head down to Razorback Hut, check it out. Show you it all down there. So here I am at Razorback Hut. Behind me there, this gets used a lot for the um, high country horse ride tours and stuff. This is quite a big meeting point. This horse yard's up the back there and there's bunkhouse accommodation in there as well. It's actually a troop carrier over the other side there. So a lot of the supplies and stuff, they set up as a base here and head off from here. Now the F number three hut is up the top there. You remember where I mentioned the intersection earlier in the video? 
well this is uh, into there, Razorback Hut. Definitely an easy one to come in and check out, but yeah. Alright, so that's the end of this trip. I'm just down at Marimba now. Just dropped down from Razorback Hut down to Circuit Road. Didn't film anything there, it's just a dirt road. So if you have liked what you've seen, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. It's awesome to see so many people and new people coming to the channel subscribing, following our adventures. And also hit that notification bell, so then you'll know when a new video is coming out. Now if you've got a question about this trip or any other trips, Feel free to pop a comment down below. I answer and reply to every comment down there. And again, thanks heaps for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take it out. Now just drove over the top of this. Didn't even see it there until I took off and filmed this bit, but uh, it's not hard, chuck it in the back seat on the floor. It's a bit of plastic, take it home. Anyway, keep pushing on. I'll just chuck this in the rubbish bag.